we live in the present to begin with. There is nothing else except present. Time is uh, artificial. We live time, we live events differently now than we did even 2,000 years ago. And um, I can tell you from my own experience, if you are in the countryside and you don't have a watch and you're just living with nature, it is the cycles of the day that will tell you and speak to you in a way that is completely different from how you would experience that same day living in a big city. And so there's a lot to this idea of time that has to do with chaos, with entropy, with the acceleration of events and movement. Time, it can work for us and it can also um, come in the way of our own development, of our own connection to the earth and to what actually moves within us at a much deeper place because time throws us out of our body and into uh, the rush of things that need to be done. But when we go into a space of meditation or hypnosis, trance, we change how we relate to time. We stretch time, the idea of time. We stretch our experience. We can uh, make an hour feel like uh, maybe just 10 minutes or we can make it feel like three hours. So it just, it's, it's a very subjective experience. But when we consider that we exist within a much larger framework than just this limitation of a physical body, when we understand that we are much more than this, then we can start to live from a vantage point that informs us that time is something we can use and it serves our purpose for certain things. But there are much larger uh, concepts of experience that are way beyond the idea of time or the limitations of time. So it gives us a feeling of eternity within a three-dimensional uh, vehicle, which is our body. But when we can start living from a vantage point of uh, that standpoint of, of being eternal, then it changes everything about how we live every day, every moment.